Hello and welcome to Certified Information Systems Auditor CISA course offered by Simply Learn. This domain is an introduction to CISA. It is based on the 2015 CISA curriculum by ISACA. The next screen shows the key features of Simply Learn. Before you start, please spend some time and go through the key features of Simply Learn displayed on the screen. Let us look at the objectives of this course in the next screen. By the end of this domain, you will be able to describe CISA, demonstrate your understanding of ISACA organization, discuss the history of CISA and the current CISA syllabus, as well as describe the value of CISA. You will also be in a position to list the requirements for certification and how to maintain certification. Finally, you will be able to describe the structure of CISA exams. In the next screen, you will learn about the CISA course. Let us get introduced to CISA in this screen. Certified Information Systems Auditor, CISA, is an information system audit certification offered by ISACA. It was introduced by ISACA in 1978, and it has grown in stature, professional offering, and its global influence. This is a preferred certification for information systems control, assurance, and security professionals. CISA is designed with the aim of attracting information systems auditors, those within technology security, educators, and even CIOs. In the next screen, we will look at the ISACA organization. The acronym ISACA formally stood for Information Systems Audit and Control Association. However, the organization is known by the acronym ISACA only to reflect the range of governance professionals within IT that it caters for. ISACA was founded in 1969. Over the years, it has grown to have over 110,000 members in 180 countries as of 2014. You too can become a member of ISACA by registering on their website, www.isaca.org. Members of ISACA get subsidized rates in pursuing their certifications, which include Certified Information Systems Auditor, CISA, Certified in the Governance of Enterprise IT, CGEIT, Certified Information Security Manager, CISM, Certified in Risk and Information Systems Control, CRISC. Over the years, ISACA has developed COVID-5, Risk IT, and Val IT, which it continually updates. Let us look at the history of CISA in the following screen. CISA was introduced in the year 1978 by ISACA. The first exam was monitored in 1981, and it was approved by the United States Defense Department as part of its assurance framework. CISA, as a certification, has won numerous awards, including being designation winner in 2009, as awarded by SC Magazine. In 2011, CISA's curriculum was changed from the previous six domains to five domains. To date, there are over 100,000 professionals who hold the CISA designation. Let us learn about CISA syllabus in the following screen. The CISA exam covers five domain areas. These domains are all examinable with different weighting in the exam. The exam is 200 multiple choice questions to be completed within a four hour period. CISA exams are done in June, September, and December of each calendar year. Below is a summary of the CISA domains. Domain 1 covers auditing information systems and accounts for 14% of the CISA exam. Domain 2 covers governance and management of information technology and accounts for 14% of the CISA exam. Domain 3 covers information systems acquisition, implementation, and development and accounts for 19% of the CISA exam. Domain 4 covers Information Systems Operations, Support, and Maintenance and accounts for 23% of the CISA exam. Domain 5 covers Protection of Information Resources and Accounts for 30% of the CISA exam. Let us discuss the value of CISA in the next screen.
When one attains the CESA certification, they acquire a globally accepted and recognized certification as well as get more value at the workplace. They also become trusted consultants at the workplace and they get recognized for their expertise among many other benefits. We will learn about CESA certification in the next screen. For you to obtain the CESA certification, you need to pass the CESA exam with at least 450 marks out of the total 800 marks, then apply for certification. Before you apply for certification, you need to have a minimum of five years' experience even though ISACA grants a number of waivers. The waivers available can be sourced from the ISACA website. In addition, you need to agree to ISACA Code of Professional Ethics, follow continuing education program, and comply with IS auditing standards. Let us learn about CESA exam in the next screen. The CESA exam questions are prepared with the intent of measuring and testing practical knowledge. The CESA exams are prepared with the aim of gauging and testing hands-on skills in information system control and audit. It is a paper-based exam that consists of 200 multiple-choice questions covering five practice areas which must be completed within a four-hour period. All questions have four multiple-choice and are intended for one correct answer. The CESA student should choose the correct answer from the choices. ISACA uses a scale from 200 to 800 when grading the examination, and minimum pass mark for the CESA exam is 450 marks. This concludes the introduction to CESA. Let us begin the course with the first domain, the process of auditing information systems.